Hello there everybody and today we will be understanding the difference between the division operator and the mod operator as I had mentioned in my last video. So for this we will be taking an example of the following question. You are basically supposed to get the sum of the digits in any given integer between 0 and 1000. Alright, might seem a little difficult and confusing to understand at the beginning but trust me we are going to do a hand run of this so that you get the concept perfectly fine also in this video we will be learning how to take inputs in java so for that the first thing that you need to do is you see the first line up here you have to say import java.util Okay, now java.util is basically an entire package and since we do not want to use any other class from the package, we are specifically saying that import only scanner from the java.util package. So you see out here, if you read this short para, a simple text scanner which can parse primitive types and strings using regular expressions. You don't have to go into such detail, but this will help you take an input. If you see the example down there also, you create an object of the scanner class and you use that object to access any function or method of the class. So let's put this into simple terms. Scanner, you say scanner, the class, and then you create an object of it. So scanner input, treat the object as a very simple variable for now, all right? And you create a new, new scanner, and to that you pass system.in, okay? Now that you have created an object of the scanner class, you need to use that object to take in any sort of input. In this code, we need only integers, right? So into a variable, let's say num, you say int num is equal to input dot next int. As simple as that. Be careful with for the capital I, all right? And that's basically it. You have taken your input successfully. Now, all we have to do is go through and understand these six, seven lines of code. Okay. Now, this we will be doing on pen and paper. So, let's go and understand this in detail. All right. So, let's take the number as 1234. And, and our first statement will be remainder is equal to num mod of 10. And on top, you can find the quotient on dividing the entire thing. So, firstly, it will go with 10. And then it goes with 2, that is 20. And lastly, when you perform the last subtraction, you see you get the number 4 finally. That is the last digit of your number. And that is your remainder. It gets stored into remainder 4 now. All right, let's move ahead now. So you see, the mod operator will give you only the remainder of a division. Now let's take the second line of the code, that is quotient is equal to num divided by 10, all right? So you see, you get the quotient as 123. Here, forget about the remainder. It's not at all important. So quotient is equal to 123, and we store it into the variable. Here's our third statement. Remainder is equal to remainder plus quotient mod of 10. Now, quotient was 123, and remainder was 4 right so we are overwriting it and simultaneously adding up the digits right because that's what we have to do so 123 divided by 10 but we will only consider what the remainder and there you go you simply get 3 on the last step right so 3 is your remainder now let's add it up and 4 plus 3 gives us a 7 so our current remainder is 7 so from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, we have finished off with 3 and 4. This is our fourth step, I guess. So again, we need to shorten the quotient now because we have finished dealing with 1, 2. Sorry, we have finished dealing with 3 and 4. So we have to deal with 1 and 2 now. So that's our new quotient. Now we basically keep repeating the statements, if you see, if you've already observed. So now remainder is 7 and quotient is 12. So again, we need to calculate the remainder and simultaneously add it up so there you go you have a 12 and 10 and finally you get 2 as your new remainder right so then you add up uh, 7 and 2 so you have give it gives you what 9 and so from the number 1200 and 
34. You have finished off with adding 2, 3 and 4. All that remains is 1. So now from this we need to take our new quotient that is quotient divided by 10 and hence we only deal with the quotient that is 1. So 12 divided by 10 gives us 1. Now all this would have been much easier if we would have known loops but since we haven't yet studied about loops we are writing each step that is required and we need to calculate the remainder four times. Why? Because our max limit is 1000. So even if the digit was less than four, okay the number was less than four digits you would simply get zero again and again. So you see you get a remainder one on your last division. So Okay, that's quotient mod of 10 gives you 1. So 9 plus 1 gives you a 10, right? And finally, that's your answer. Cut. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 finally have been added. So your sum of the digits of the number 1, 2, 3, 4 is 10. So you see, these seven lines are all that you had to understand. I hope that was pretty simple, right? And now that you know the difference precisely, let's go ahead and run this code. Just give in a simple print statement, all right? And let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so you can take in any range of your choice. Just make sure it's integers. Okay, so input any number. Let's take 123. And yes, the sum of all the digits is 6. Let's give it another run. Let's say 569. Okay, just any random number. And it's 20. Okay, as simple as that. I hope you all understood. We'll go forward with our concepts. And let's see what we have. Maybe some various other operators too. And bye-bye. I'll see you all soon.